Snapshot 24W35A is out with follow-ups and lots of bug fixes. My name is Sliced Lime and this is a complete guide to the changes. Let's start with bundles. The functionality of using the hotbar keys to select items in bundles while hovering over them in the inventory has been removed. This is because scrolling to select now works better when more items are shown and the hotbar keys can instead be used to move the entire bundle to a slot on the hotbar. A number of fixes have also been made to the user interface of bundles, where the contents of a renamed bundle with a long name now shows up centered, and items now show the correct name style in a bundle, like showing their name in italics if they're renamed, and showing the right rarity color. The bundle fullness bar and its fill color now have new separate textures that can be overridden in a resource pack. This snapshot also includes a follow-up fix for the redstone experiments toggle, where observers now detect redstone dust changing power level once again. Loads of fixes for gameplay bugs in this version, especially to items. In the previous snapshot, right-clicking armor to equip it would instead delete the item, and using a bucket or glass bottle would in general remove that item. Using an empty map in survival mode now once again creates a filled map. When bone mealing one high water, you can no longer get tall seagrass. When running and jumping on soul sand, soul speed momentum is now kept rather than lost. And flying in creative mode is now once again unaffected by the movement of bubble columns. In block and item news, beehive and nest items now show as full of honey properly when held and in the inventory. And they now also show lore information about what bees are inside. The coast armor trim now has a full item name like the other armor trims. And shields now show the enchantment glint fully in item form. Redstone lamps and wheat blocks now have the right colors on maps. Brown for redstone lamps regardless of if they're on or off, and yellow for wheat. In mob changes, salmon no longer has the same hitbox size regardless of what size they are, and picking up a salmon in a bucket now preserves its size. Drowned now once again raise their arms to attack and now know how to chase you even if they are in one block high water. Drowned holding tridents no longer hold them upside down. Snow golems no longer shoot snowballs at the sky and the trader llamas once again attack zombie and illager type mobs. With the mob griefing game rule turned off, creepers can no longer destroy vehicles like boats and minecarts. When a raid happens on a small island, raiders would sometimes fail to spawn even though there is actually space for them, which is fixed in this version. Raiders must now find a place to spawn no more than 96 blocks vertically above or below the village center for a raid to be able to start. It is now much less likely for raiders to not find a valid place to spawn when raiding. In a trial chamber fix, some trial spawners would not increase their number of breezes spawned when they were in their ominous mode, which is fixed in this version. Some advancement fixes. The BR guest description now correctly describes that a nest can also be used, and the subspace bubble advancement is no longer granted by just entering and exiting some nether portals. In visual news, translucency sorting broke in a recent snapshot, with water disappearing behind translucent surfaces. That is fixed in this version. In sound news, the subtitles for walking on monster spawners are now the correct ones. This snapshot also brings more stability, including several crash fixes. And with this snapshot comes datapack version 51, which you'll be able to hear all about in an upcoming video here on the channel, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in datapacks. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Buttons for clicking can be found in the usual buttons for clicking places. My name is Sliced Lime, and I'll see you next time.